Hi, Joel Sexton here from Fat Loss Feast with Joe and Liam. Today we're going to be making healthy burgers, perfect, perfect for fat loss. Uh, we're going to be getting stacks of greens with that as well, so stacks of nutrients as well. First off, we've got organic mint. So we've got about 500 grams of organic mint here. We've also got diced onions. We've also got diced chilies. We've got tomato puree that we're going to bind it all together with. And on top, after we've grilled it, we're going to throw some ghost cheese on as well. One of the healthiest cheeses that are around. Right, so first off, you're going to be throwing your onions in with your mint. So I want you to take two handfuls, and I want you to throw them in. Also, we're going to take a handful of chilies, and we're going to throw them in as well. From here, what we're going to do is get some tomato puree. Because without this, it can easily break apart. So what we're going to do is squeeze a good amount of tomato puree in. From here, this way we get our hands dirty and we just bind it all together. So we're going to bind the onions, the mince, the chilies and tomato puree together because one big mush. Right, right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take a big handful of mince. We're going to make it into a bowl. From here, we're just going to pat it in our, in our hands into a burger shape. Right, so we don't want it too thick because it'll not cook in the middle. So from here, we're going to put it onto our griddle. If we're 500 grams, you can probably make about three or four burgers. So again, for the second burger. What you're going to do is, again, make it into a burger shape, not too thick. These burgers are quite big, so I'm hungry. To get the more good food that we eat as well, we're not going to be craving nutrients because we're going to get all the nutrients in. So again, another burger there. We're going to move one more. So again, with the 500 grams worth of mince, we can normally get about three to four burgers. Depends how big you want. If you're not feeling hungry, you can go smaller and you can probably go about four or five burgers. This is again the third burger. I say how to make it a little bit easier with small puries, bind it in together. Not too thick. And that's burger number three. Right, so three burgers are done, uh, ready to get grilled. We're going to put them on a medium heat towards the top of the grill. They're in for the next 20 minutes. After 10 minutes, what I want you to do is change the move because obviously the bottom needs cooking. After about 15 minutes, after we switch the move up, we're going to throw the ghost cheese on top as well. And let that brown off, and then the burgers are ready. Time for the burger relish now as well. Right, so whilst the burgers are cooking, we're going to make a burger relish. So simple, a lot less sugar than actual tomato ketchup, and it's going to probably taste better as well. So we've got two chopped tomatoes. What I've done instead of cutting them up on chopping board, I've cut them with scissors. I've cut them over the bowl so we've got all the juices in the bottom of the bowl. Our leftover onions from the burgers, we're going to throw them in. And we're also going to throw leftover chilies in as well. Depends how spicy you want it, it depends how many chilies you want and how hot the chilies are. A little bit of tomato puree we've got left, we're going to throw that in. And then what we're going to do with the spoon, we're going to just mix it all together. So this is to go on top of the salad and on top of the burgers. A lot more fresh, a lot more nutrients, and a lot better for you than the tomato ketchup. And it's probably going to taste just as good. About five minutes, the burger's going to be ready to turn around, and it's nearly through time. Right guys, 10 minutes in, so it's ready for the flip. Whilst we've been waiting, mainly we've made a cup of white tea each as well. White tea's got so many health benefits, way, way better than coffee, way better than normal tea, and way better than any juice or pop as well. So, flip time, so, take them up. And you see how they just started brown on top. Looking good already. Obviously we need to cook the bottom. So, from there we're gonna flip them over as best as we can. As you can see on the bottom as well, they're not actually cooked on the bottom. But the soon will be. Right, that can flip. What we're going to do now is put them in for another round of about 5 to 10 minutes. 
Uh, before that time, we're going to have to put the goat cheese on to let it brown off as well. So in five minutes time, we're going to take them back out whilst they're cooking on top, put the goat cheese on, let it brown off, and they'll be ready to serve up. See you in five Right, five minutes are up, so it's time to put the goat cheese on now. Again, we're going to take them off the grill. Oh, my God. Goat cheese is a secret to make it taste awesome as well. So, I've uh, got some goat cheese, I put it up in the cubes. And I'm going to put two bits of goat cheese on top of every single one. You don't want the goat cheese too thick, so it melts nice and evenly as well. So it's been in for an extra five minutes. Then we switch them around. Put goat cheese on top, put them back in for another five, ten minutes. Basically now with it in until the goat cheese is browned off. Getting hungry, five minutes time, and then we'll get them out. Right, after 20 minutes, the burgers are done, so it's time to get them out. So, get the burgers out. As you can see, the goat cheese is starting to brown off on the top as well. And then burgers are looking awesome. Right, before we serve the burgers, we've got a bag of watercress, spinach and rocket. Like I said at the start of the video, basically our body doesn't create food, it creates nutrition. So if we get enough nutrition, nutrients in our body, uh, you find that you're not going hungry, you'll not create bad food. So we're gonna go for a big handful, watercress, spinach, and rocket on each plate. You literally you should be dieting, you should be going through one of these a day. Stacks of nutrients means that we never get hungry, means that we never create bad food, we never fall off the wagon, we'll get amazing results. So there's basically a big handful of greens, that's a full bag gone, that's only like half each. Basically, we're gonna drizzle a little bit of olive oil on, plenty of good fats, so remember guys, fat doesn't make us fat. Now, time to serve the burgers up. See, so I'm serving like the best looking one. And mine. And Liam is going to get one. This one. Be the next one, and that could just be for a later meal as well. Remember, if we cook another meal, we can have a photo tomorrow with you at lunch, you don't have to get up early, you don't have that excuse saying, I had no time to make food, so you've got to get a sandwich from the cafe when you're at work. All that's left is to throw a little bit of the burger relish on. So here we're just going to put a little bit on top. So we've got clean burgers with goat cheese on top, we've got side salad, so we've got watercress, spinach and rocket and we've got burger relish on top as well. Look forward to eating it, thanks very much.